let us study how to calculate combined standard deviation. Combined standard deviation is calculated for two groups at the same time and it is given by the formula sigma c c for combined combined standard deviation is equal to square root of it is n1 into sigma 1 square plus d1 square plus n2 into sigma 2 square plus d2 square the whole divided by n1 plus n2 now n1 and n2 is the number of observations in each group number of observations in group 1 and group 2 sigma 1 and sigma 2 are standard deviations of the two groups so Sigma 1 will be standard deviation of group 1 and Sigma 2 will be standard deviation of group 2. And finally, you have D1 and D2 which are deviations of the respective groups. D1 and D2 are to be calculated in a specific manner where First, you need to find the combined mean. So, the formula to calculate combined mean is given by x c bar. And the combined mean for two groups at the same time is given by the formula n1 x1 bar plus n2 x2 bar divided by n1 plus n2 again your x1 bar and x2 bar will be the mean of the two groups individually that is mean of group 1 will be x1 bar and mean of group 2 will be x2 bar once you calculate Combined mean that is xc bar. Now you can calculate d1 and d2. d1 will be calculated as xc bar minus sorry d1 will be calculated as x1 bar minus xc bar and d2 will be calculated as x2 bar minus xc bar so a little long calculation for combined standard deviation we should take an example to see how this works let us say the question given is as follows there are two groups that is group 1 and group 2 and the following information is given for both the groups number of observations for group 1 it is 40 group 2 60 mean of the two groups is given 25 and 30 and finally standard deviation for both groups is given separately 
and that is 6 and 4. The question would be to calculate combined standard deviation. Now, looking at this question, number of observations will be our N1 and N2. The mean of the two groups will be x1 bar and x2 bar and the standard deviations which are denoted by sigma will be sigma1 and sigma2. First, now the step, the procedure to calculate combined standard deviation would be first to calculate combined mean and that is x c bar. So first calculate x c bar by the formula n1 into x1 bar plus n2 into x2 bar divided by n1 plus n2. which will be n1 given here is 40 into x1 bar is 25 plus n2 is 60 into x2 bar is 30 the whole divided by n1 plus n2 which is 40 plus 60 All this information is coming from the question. Now solving this further, 40 into 25, that is 1000 plus 16 to 30, that is 1800 divided by 40 plus 16, that is 100. That is equal to 2800 divided by 100 and the answer for combined mean is equal to 28. Now once you have calculated combined mean, we can calculate D1 and D2. The next step would be to calculate D1 and D2. So once you've calculated combined mean, D1 we know is equal to x1 bar minus xc bar. x1 bar from the question is 25. So that will be 25 minus 28 and that is equal to minus 3. D2 is equal to x2 bar minus xc bar which is equal to x2 bar again from the question that is 30 minus 28 that is equal to 2. Now once you have d1 and d2 we can directly proceed to our main formula for comb calculating combined standard deviation. So now combined standard deviation sigma c is equal to square root of n1 into sigma 1 square plus d1 square plus n2 into sigma 2 square plus d2 square divided by n1 plus n2. That is equal to n1 from our question, the first line number of observations, n1 is 40. That is square root of forty 
फोर्टी इंटू सिग्मा वन स्क्वेर सिग्मा वन इन द क्वेश्चन इज सिक्स सो दैट बी सिक्स स्क्वेर प्लस डी वन स्क्वेर डी वन वी जस्ट कैलकुलेटेड दैर इज माइनस थ्री सो दैट बी माइनस थ्री स्क्वेर प्लस एन टू फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन अगेन इज सिक्सटी into sigma 2 square that is 4 square plus d2 square that is 2 square the whole divide by n1 plus n2 that is 40 plus 60 all the information will be there in the question and from what you have calculated so now solving this further, that will be equal to square root of 40 into 6 square is 36 plus minus 3 square is 9 plus 60 into 4 square is 16 plus 2 square is 4 the whole divided by 40 plus 60 that is 100 next step that is equal to square root of 40 into 36 plus 9 would be 45 plus 60 into 16 plus 4 that is 20 the whole divided by 100 that is equal to square root of 40 into 45 that is equal to 1800 plus 60 into 20 that is 1200 the whole divided by 100 that is equal to square root of 3000 divided by 100 next step that is square root of 30 and finally Combined standard deviation is equal to square root of 30 and that is 5.477. This is how you calculate combined standard deviation for two groups.